Honeywell R7284 Hard Lockout Call Service I live in Nome, Alaska. There's nobody to call, and it's 9F outside. How do I restart my furnace? Are you getting any error codes or blinking lights on your Honeywell furnace? How old is it? 2002 Furnace How long has this been going on with your Honeywell Furnace? What have you tried so far? Had a couple of hard lockouts over the past few days. Pressed I to clear them and Furnace restarted immediately. Don't know what to try now. Anything else we should know to help you best? New code, error 1 no ignition check CAD cell. Hello, tell me a lot about your tools and skill sets so I can coach you most effectively. I'm a former army medic. I've got a basic toolbox and I can follow instructions. Thanks I need the brand and model number if the oil burner unit please. One moment while I clean off the dust. Tell me how much fuel is in that tank approx and when it was last filled. Tank at least 200 gallons remaining. Filled within last two weeks. Burner equals Burnham model leave 1B2S. Click here please look that over, tell me if it matches what you have. Nothing to click. HTTPS colon slash www.manualslib.com slash manual slash 23096 slash Burnham Leave Series dot HTML. You need to be on a computer to do this. Smartphone screens are a bit hard to work with on this sort of thing. One moment while I boot up. Not 100% identical, but very very similar. Remove the CAD cell and clean its lens. Try to run the burner again as you look through the flame viewport to see if fuel is spraying of the nozzle or not. If you see or smell fuel oil spray then it's an ignition problem. Locate the spark ignition section of the service manual and follow those instructions. If there is no fuel spray and the burner motor is running, then there is air in the fuel system or it's clogged with something and you need to bleed the air from the fuel system and or take the oil pump apart and remove the debris. You will gain a lot of insight working on it. That insight will be necessary for you to sort out the problem. I will guide you for an hour. Extra hours are $40 per hour. Excellent. I will get started on removing the CAD cell. Miscellaneous notes any flames should be bright yellowish white. If they are dark or with black spots in the flames then remove the oil burner from the firebox and examine the firebox for soot or hard carbon buildup. Do not press the red reset button more than twice. That's crucial. 55357 five, semicolon and number 56397 five, semicolon and number 55357 five, semicolon and number 56397. See the section on testing the CAD cell using a flashlight and ohm meter. Use words to tell me what is not clear. Will do. It's late here, I will stay up for you though but I will be napping once in a while and checking in to see if you have responded. Meantime study that manual. I think it is the CAD cell. There is carbon all over the inside of the burner tube so I am cleaning everything and will then try to restart it. Thank you. In that case there may also be rock hard carbon blocking the heat exchanger inside the boiler. Cleaning all that out is necessary. Not easy at all. We have heat. 
Thank you. Good work. What color is the flame, and are there any black spots in it? I'm only looking at the flame through the little window, so it's bluish. After I advise you on the fuel air mix issues. Bluish is almost too good, white yellow is good. And dark yellow or black spots in the flame is not good and serious work would be required. Extensive cleaning of the system. Tomorrow get the numbers off of the brass spray nozzle and buy two spares. It's time to locate the finish and rate your expert link near the top of your page and click on it to close the question. And enable follow up at no additional charge. I appreciate your business. POST back for any follow up you might need on the same dime so to speak. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thanks for the rating. Absolutely. We have heat. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.